Hey guys, this is Amber with TheLoveGal.com and YouTube.com backslash TheLoveGal and LawOfAttractionBlueprint.com and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how to get what you script to manifest into your reality. Now, if you are into manifestation and co-creating your own life, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell to get notified about when I drop new videos. My channel is pretty much about manifestation and how to co-create and get things to show up in your reality easier. Like I said before in this video, I'm going to be telling you how to get what you write down aka script to show up in your reality. For all of my non-believers or people who just need motivation to start scripting or continue to script, I'm going to read something somebody sent in to me. The title of the email was Wild Sequence of Events. I started using your scripting sheet to manifest a phone call from somebody who things ended on bad terms. I didn't have their number anymore because I lost my phone. I used the scripting sheet last week. Guess who was my Uber Eats delivery driver last night? I was at work so I had to come down to meet them. We were both shocked, like laughing emoji. I saw the name and I thought I was just aligned and I was going to receive my phone call. No. It was really them that asked for my number again because they lost mine too. So for the people who don't know, I have over 16 guided scripting packets that I put together to help people script. So when she said I downloaded the script and she blah, 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 that's what she's referring to. Um, it's going to be linked in my description box below. Now, if you have something in your mind right now that you would like to manifest, but you don't know all the ins and outs on how to script and doing it the right way, go ahead and watch this video to the end because I'm going to be giving you my techniques to make your life a little bit easier. So let's get into the first tip. Before I even start scripting, I try to make sure my energy is correct because once I start scripting and going into detail about what I want, I want to make sure the energy around what I'm writing is, is at a higher frequency. Um, in these times, especially as an adult, we don't have a whole lot of time to just sit there and meditate. Or sometimes we just cannot focus when we do try to meditate. Our mind is kind of going all over the place. But what I recommend you do, and you could do this anywhere, I would take between five and 10 deep breaths. If you do have time, I would highly suggest you taking 20 to 21 deep breaths. But if you don't have time, start with five or 10. And when I say deep breaths, I don't mean like super fast, super rush, just Breathe in, hold it, and breathe out. Do that five to 10 times if you don't have time. Now, you can script this out. I've done this on the computer. I've done this on my phone. I have literally scripted it out. I'm gonna give an example. So when I want to manifest a certain amount of money or whatever the case may be, um, I start scripting out everything I'm thankful for first because everybody knows what you focus on is what you attract. So if I'm focusing on all the good in my life, the more good will come to me. So I start with gratitude. I'm thankful for this. Thank you for that. Thank you for my health. Thank you for my family's safety. Thank you for the new payments coming in. Thank you for this. And I go on and on and on and on and on until I start feeling my energy shift. And I even go into scripting I am affirmations. I am beautiful. I am smart. I am successful. I am loved. I am sought after. Hype yourself up. And then by the end of that, you should start feeling better. Okay, now the scripting, dun, dun, dun. Whether you're just using a pen and paper, whether you're using one of my guided scripting sheets, what I recommend you doing is scripting from a point of view that it has already happened to you. I talk about the law of attraction a lot, but with the law of assumption, you assume that it is already done. So when you're scripting, you're scripting as if it already happened to you. I'm not sure what it is that you are trying to manifest or bring into your life, but tell a story. Tell a story on it happening to you. It can be as detailed as you want. You could write a letter to someone telling them what happened to you. So you can write a letter to your best friend. Girl, you will not believe what happened to me. I went to the gas station and I found $2,500 on the ground 
by my attire. And I looked around and I was trying to see if anybody seemed to be looking for money. So I went inside. I was a little hesitant because the cashier could have claimed the money. But I went inside anyway trying to be a good person and they said no one has been at that pump for at least two hours. So I looked at the money and I just prayed about it. I put it in my pocket and I kept going. Random story. Don't look too far into what I just said. I just spit that out. Okay. But after you do this scripting, you should already be in a, a good feeling place, right? And you scripted out what you want to manifest. I want you to visualize what you have just wrote down. You could visualize the phone call. You calling your best friend and you telling her about it. Visualize it over and over again. I would say at least two to three to four times. And I highly recommend you do this right before bed. So even when you're about to get into bed, visualize this happening to you. When practicing the law of assumption, if you're not familiar with it, the law of assumption basically says that it is already done. So you have to act and visualize and script as if it is already done. But I am Amber with the lovegal.com. All my law of attraction tools are going to be in my description box, including my how to manifest blueprint, 16 different scripting sheets, including ones about love, getting your ex back, making more money, success in your business, dream car, dream house, etc, etc, etc. They are available for download at any time. I don't care where you are at in the world. That's why I did it digital. So you can download it at any time and print it out or you can just take whatever I'm saying and script it out in your journal or in the notes of your phone. But until next time, make sure you hit that subscribe button because more videos are coming.